All right, a lot's going down. I'm technically, sadly, missing DC Fandom. I was going to do a video update about it, but sadly, could not have the time to do it. But so yeah, um, right now I was editing my movie reaction for Halloween Kills since I did watch that last night. Stay tuned for a review though. But I'm sorry, I need to check this out. We just got a behind the scenes teaser for Black Adam, which I was hoping we'd get a teaser trailer. Because we technically got like a first look or something. I don't know. Let's just hope this wins me over or something. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see Black Adam. You know what? Screw the tongue. with it. Oh! Having done James Bond for ten years, four films, nothing compares to this. I play Hawkman. Cyclone. Adam Smasher. Doctor Fate. Leading the whole charge is Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Fueled by the depths of his pain. Woo! He's Black Adam. Damn right! Black Adam. The right! Let's go! Hey, DC Fandom, and hello to everyone watching around the world. I am so excited right now to be here and to talk to you about the man in black himself, Black Adam. Now, as you guys know, this character, this film, this universe has been a gigantic passion project of mine for a very long time. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. worked yeah. so hard, worked these hands, these calluses, my fingers to the bone on this project because it's the kind of project that I know comes along once in a lifetime. And the truth is... I was born to play Black Adam. Hell yeah, you are! I started the post-production process, which is so exciting. And the film has, without question, some of the biggest action sequences I have ever been a part of. And I am so proud and excited of our incredible team who are working away to create breathtaking, holy shit, scenes that I know you're really going to love. Now, even though we're still working away, this is DC Fandom. So I felt like I had to bring you guys just a little something special. Now, you know me, guys, and you know, I always like to say that you, the audience, the people, you guys are my number one boss. So I got together oh, with my director, John McAlexi, and that, we put together a little funny. glimpse of one of the opening scenes of the movie when Black Adam is first revealed. Wait, we're going to get an opening scene of Black Adam? Why the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. I hope you enjoy this very first look at the man in black himself, Black Adam. Woo! What are these two? What the hell is that? I'm sorry, what? Whoa! Whoa! There's one thing, I, like, there's one thing The Rock is right about. He, there's one thing he is so right about. Dwayne The Rock freaking Johnson was born to play Black Adam. Let's go! Anyways, I'm going to go end my movie vlog, but if something comes up, I'm going to... So, anyways, see you on the flip side. Also, I got to have this in the background, man. That logo, I can't get over that logo, but enough chit-chat. 
I've sadly missed uh, DC being a DC fan though, but I could rewatch it since it's online, right? Anyways, enough to chat. Let's check out the Peacemaker trailer. Oh, from the director of uh, the Suicide Squad and Johnny Gigan. Trying to be helpful. <laughs> My first target is Senator Roland Goff. Goff may be traveling with his family. Are you sure those two kids came out of those parents? That's an attractive couple. That one looks like it came out of them, but the other one looks like a butt baby. A butt baby. Yeah, my older brother told me there's two types of babies. One that comes out normal, and then butt babies. Worse in every way, they come out of a woman's butt. Well, I believed I was a butt baby until I was like 14. That explains a lot. What? There's something about him that's sad. Hey, Dad. I didn't mind Sparta going to a Nancy boy like you. No, lately I'm just thinking of a maniac. Hey, no! No, that's because we're born killers. Whoa, whoa, who was that? Is that? Is we only kill bad people. Was that TJ? Unless there's a mistake. You use being a jerk as a way to push people away. That would suck at PowerPoint. But if you would just drop that... People actually might like you. Do you really wanna, do you really wanna taste this? Oh, it's not. I don't know who that guy is. November, December. That's on a Thursday! Watch your calendars, boys and girls. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, January 13th is the release date for season one of Peacemaker, so do stay tuned for reaction series. But still, those, those. Oh my god, it's <laughs> number four on trend day. But still, I am looking forward to check this out. Anyways, next trailer or BTS thing. I don't know. I, I, I missed a lot what went down. Behind the scenes clip of Shazam Fury and the Guts. Now, of course, we wouldn't be able to get a trailer. Since this movie's sadly coming out in like two years. Funny, uh, funny thing, uh, my dad's watching Shazam for the first time downstairs. He's probably wrapping up with the movie. Anyways! Alright! Let's get it! Hello, my name is Zachary Levi. I should have a little tag. And I play Shazam. We all established something very special in the first movie. And in Shazam! Fury of the Gods, we expand on that. And now they have to balance their life with being superheroes. This is where you hang out with your superhero friends, isn't it? Love and dread. These goddesses come to our world. Our incredible new villains, Lucy Liu and Helen. Ah, uh, no Black Adam. Is that going to be in the third movie? I want to see the Shazam versus Black Adam fight go down. Creatures, minotaurs, harpies, dragons. Whoa, I'm sorry, dragons? We got a 
an upgrade, a huge upgrade in the suit. Bigger action sequences, bigger set pieces. We go from Athens to Philadelphia. We go from the Rock of Eternity and the Library of Eternity to the Realm of the Gods. So we get to go to environments that were never explored in the first film. We have it all. Three, two, one. Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Wait a minute, was that, was that the wizard? takes the excitement and the action to a whole new level. It's going to be more of a spectacle. This fun all around. You're in store for a treat, y'all. Woo! Sam, feeling the guy! 2023, sadly. Well, it's mainly June 2nd, 2023, but still. No, that's not bad. That's not bad. Anyways, now Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. July 17th, 2021. Uh, first day of production. Okay. Aloha, DC fandom. I apologize for the four-year wait. Oh, my gosh. We've been here since yep, 2017. Man. But I'm very proud of the sequel because it's tackling a lot of issues environmentally. The stakes are higher, and I'm just excited because I had a big part in my boy James, you know? <laughs> oh, James Bond. He's the one behind uh, Melinda and the country. and the country. Like the comic book, the world Aquaman is so big and so rich. It's epic. It's huge. It's colorful. The world is at stake. I'm super excited to be back making the sequel. I have so much invested into it. I love this character. I love what it represents. There's nothing that I've ever been a part of that's like this. People are going to be in for a treat when Aquaman 2 comes out. They're going to get a movie that's more mature. Oh, tell me that it's Black, that black man has the villain for this one. Because I, I, I was hoping he'd be the villain for the first one. The success of that but Ocean Master was all right. Movie of all time shows what James Wan and his team were able to do. And in this second film, we have turned the dials up to 11. It has the action, the fun, the heart. Action! Black Manta! And super villains have entertained generations of fans across the globe. Good, you got it? Put that in the movie. <laughs> Wait, was that just quite a trip. We're having a blast. This movie's a lot. Of oh, fun. all right, all right, my bad, my bad. Uh, I think fans are gonna be very happy. So I think James is really excited to go all out. This is an exciting scene. We better get to a little bit of action. Oh, looks like, like he, looks like, first looks like Orman, uh, Arthur are gonna be working together. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that looks upgraded! That's gonna be something that's exciting for the audience, something for them to be swept up into the world of Aquaman again. About to kick some ass. It's a love trotting story. We visit so many different worlds. This movie isn't afraid to embrace its fantasy and go on this magical journey. I think it's gonna be really awesome. Aquaman and the Last Kingdom! December 16th. Okay, that was weird for a day like that. But still, December 16th, 2022, which is. Well, definitely. I mean, today's like the 16th of October, but it is in 2022. Still, it's just definitely like the film. Two, just two years away. No! One year away! One year away! Well, almost one year away. Anyways, I'm gonna go see if there's anything I can... Oh my god. Well, that's gonna crap on me. Anyways, DC League of Super Pets. Let's check this out. That must be Crypto the uh, Super Dog, right? Have I got his name right? I don't know. Super Pet. Wait, is this? Of Super Pet. Say I'm in a league of my own. Oh, you're in a league of your own, all right? Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody as messed up as you. Oh, for God, the rock! Oh. Oh, Kevin Hart. Oh. I can't believe we got the rock and Kevin Hart are part of this. How much did you have to drink? Double whiskey. Gary's. Go, oh, we're gonna get a trailer around November, but stop! Okay, 
Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in for it. Wait, what's this other one? Wait, what's that? Next month. It shouldn't be a problem. Anyways, what else am I missing? The Flash. All right. No turning back. Greetings, DC Fandom and Domers. Ezra Miller here. Live from the set of The Flash, it looks like this. We're very excited um, to Does anyone not know he's, uh, he has chest hair and he... And we can't yet because we're still making it. We wanted to show you a teaser, but we can't because we don't have enough material to make a teaser yet. We, we can't make a trailer. Uh, but we do have this small sneak peek that my maestro Andy and I have put together that we really hope you'll enjoy. And I will see you in theaters later next year. Or more importantly, you will see me. Wait, what? Tell me something. You can go. Any oh, the phone! I know that voice! Any timeline. Any time. universe. Oh my god. Why do you want to stay? Fight to save this one. You changed the future. Ben Baffling! And you changed the past. Super girl! And I actually am kind of concerned about this because I feel like there's something sus going on about this. But I'll, that's a video for another day. But anyways, anything else I'm missing? All right, sorry if I look like a mess. Uh, I just got back from Dave and Buster's. Uh, long story about that. But anyways, enough chit chat. Let's watch it. Turn up. Police, up. Who's that? The Riddler? It is you. Or, um... Fear is a tool. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. Oh, oh, you, you. Ah, Katsu! 
penguin. He got you. I'm, I'm making a custom suit. I'm making a custom suit. I've already done one for Shang Chi. I'm doing one for for the Batman. Oh my God! I gotta watch that again. Anyway, so I'm gonna go end my movie ranting, and uh, that's the end of the video. But you know, just I'll just I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God! I'm gonna watch that as many times. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.